Hey brothers and sisters, time for another little walk and talk. I got a little walking friend with me today. So, you and me and my little friend Tom, we'll go for a little walk. He likes to go for walks. Oh guys, I love you all brothers and sisters. Today's little walk and talk is going to be something that's a little heavy on my heart. Um, last couple days been kind of rough at the old Discord server. Been a lot of division happen. Oh, a lot of misunderstandings, hurt feelings, people leaving, arguments, name calling, all kinds of strife. Oh my goodness, what a pretty cloud. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's like sun shadows coming off of it anyway Tom let's go um, what has happened at our discord server was really quite heartbreaking for me um, I have a pretty big empathetic sort of a heart and so when I lose friends or brothers and sisters or if I hurt somebody and I know I hurt somebody it really bothers me right um, and a lot has happened uh, we had a split in our Bible study we had a uh, couple people get really upset at a chat and it got really badly out of hand it cost a few feelings at the very least and um also had another sister leave and kind of give me one story and it was another story and had a young fella was gonna leave because he's so broken because he's heartbroken right now just because the world things that are happening it's tough guys um, but what I've found today after getting through today with a lot of help and a lot of love and a lot of encouragement and a lot of prayers from fellow brothers and sisters. What I have found is that, um, sorry, I'm just gonna check my mail. Got a little flyer, nothing else. Nothing new. We got Tom having a nice little rest. Are you having a rest, Tom? Yeah, come on. So, after all was said and done, had a few people, a couple few people gone from the server. Had some feelings hurt. Sorry about the tractor noise. Had some feelings hurt. Probably quite a few feelings hurt. Got my little feelings hurt. Um, but a lot of wisdom, maybe came from it all um, kind of got some good lessons from it also got kind of the idea that one of the sisters that were in the Bible study said something the other day about some people are in your lives for a day some for some for a moment, some for a day, some for a season, but all for a reason, something like that. Probably probably really brutalized that quote, but I think you get the point. And uh, I think that's very true. Regardless of who had left or 
whatever happened, right? There's reasons for things. And today, a lot came out amongst the brothers and sisters that are still there. And a lot of wisdom was shared. A lot of love was shared. And it builds a stronger bond amongst the brothers and sisters. Um, like, it sucks, guys. It just sucks to lose brothers and sisters, to lose that fellowship with them, right? Even if they're still in the server, if you aren't communicating and everybody's got their feelings hurt, it's not fun. It doesn't. There's nothing fun about it. But at the same time, some other issues were brought up. And some truths were revealed. And as much as, uh, well, there's no way around it. The truth hurts sometimes. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And he said his word is like a two-edged sword. And it goes between brother and brother, brother and father, mother and daughter, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Sister and brother, guys. Um, sometimes these things just happen and we don't really understand them. We don't understand why they happen. But they do. They happen. Right? So we have to be able to just kind of roll with the punches. And remember that in all things we're told to give thanks to God. Right? Give thanks to God. Oh, Tom, you're going to kill me for tripping me. Give all thanks, or give thanks to God for all things. So that means when it's going bad, that's part of all, right? So you have to be able to give thanks to God for whatever happened today. So common sense guy in me says something happened today that needed to happen, right? Otherwise it wouldn't have happened. And personally, inwardly, I see a couple things that probably needed to happen. And if there's anyone out there who's watching this that is part of our Discord server, I don't think I'm trying to insinuate something against you. Because there was things that came out, there was things that was done, there was things that were said that I have learned well, hopefully I've learned my lesson from. If not, I've at least um, come to an understanding on some things. And I have come to be accepting uh, of these things. Are you coming, Tom? Come on. And um, I'm not necessarily saying, okay, the, the people that were separated or anything like that, that it's all good for me because the lesson was for me it might be the exact opposite it might be i was removed some from one of their lives for a reason right um we don't know god's ways i'm not going to put him in a box he's god right and so he may need to remove me from your life or you from my life but he's god and i want to just roll with it and accept whatever is his will. I don't know what his will is other than to love your fellow man and to love him. Believe on the Son, which is to do what he says. And he says, love God and love your fellow man. So I want to be able to take whatever happened today and yesterday, right, as a lesson somehow that's biblically scripturally correct and good and if nothing else i can give thanks to the lord for showing me that we're all human we can't put each other on pedestals and expect something more because we're all human um, like when my young friend there today wanted to leave because the world he didn't feel he was worthy right to be called brother or 
to be saved or anything. He's really beating himself up because he's got a broken heart right now. And um, like I told him, I says, none of us are worthy, brother. You're, you're in a group with a bunch of Christians. That means a bunch of um, filthy sinners because that's what Christians are. But we're saved by the grace of God through believing on Jesus Christ. And he starts to do a work through us and make us less of the world and more of him, right? And so, if nothing else, I get to have this lesson that um, in all things, even if it's bad, I'm reminded to give thanks to God for whatever good it was, even if I don't know what the good was. I'm still here today to be able to say thanks, so that's for something to say thanks for. Plus, if I know that God is doing his will through his children, whatever happened must have been his will. I just don't understand why, right? And he's bigger than me, so it's okay for me not to understand why or the hows or whatever, right? And the other lesson, I think I lost Tom in the, in the walk. The other lesson is uh, forgiveness, right? Because I was hurt too. And so common sense again tells me if I was hurt, even if I'm not feeling it, I will have an inner, I don't know, resentment, anger, something, right? And so I got to start the 70 times 7 thing because forgiveness is extremely important, right? Um, it'll eat you up if you don't let it go. So, again, another valuable lesson. As well, giving thanks to the Lord for the beautiful brothers and sisters that supported me. Um, for the beautiful brothers and sisters, well, it was mostly all sisters, that left without being mean, without being hateful in any way, right? Um, whether I agree with their decisions or how they went about things or anything else, they were loving not mean they didn't cast a bunch of accusations and leave well one did but she was really angry and that was a whole nother story um, that was extremely whew, i don't even understand really a hundred percent what happened um, total turnaround from prayed for her daily um, profusely quite often and her nothing but grateful and loving for it and telling me my prayers were working and how great and blah, blah, blah. And then I turned into this horrible person that was fake praying and fake loving and a liar and full of demons. And yeah, it didn't, it was crazy. But I mean, who knows? Like, maybe I needed to see that, right? Maybe I needed to know that. Um, and the way I look at it, I can also be thankful that it happened to me and not some of the other people in my server. There's people in my server that are, you know, there's suicidals. So people that are, have suicidal thoughts, right? Well, what if they got attacked horribly like that and said all these things to them? I mean, I have a fairly thick skin and um, my face is pretty strong. And it still 